This is Ricky here from Boom Racing. Just to show you a quick unboxing of our new muscle winch. Uh, when you get it, it comes into in this nice little plastic box. So it's open. When you open it, you see you get a nice uh, metal servo winch. Uh, you also get a nice metal hook. The actual winch unit. The instruction manual and the little allen key that's underneath your instruction manual so don't lose that right the instruction manual is actually fairly detailed showing you the actual internals of it and the, how you build the actual um like tie the hook on there's an exploded diagram of the actual winch uh, there's part numbers on here, so you can buy rebuild kits for it. Right, so that's the instruction manual, get it out of the way. Right, so when you first get it, you have to tie on the actual hook yourself. But before I get to that, I'm showing you how to actually uh, operate the actual freeze ball. So you can press this button and you can pull the freeze ball out and then you see it's not locked back in place, so you keep pulling until it clicks. So it's locked back into the actual operating mechanism, so you can wind the back in. Or you can pull on the little tab under here. So this bit here, you can actually pull. That's the same thing as if you push. So you pull that and it releases the freeze ball, so you can pull it out. Okay, there's also a third system that you can use which is the system here, which is a little slider. So that's the part number for it. So you can actually use this as, um, instead of pushing or pulling on it, you can slide it and then actually um, release this to free spool. I'll show you how, how to install that. So here's one that I just took off. So when you first get it, they come like linked together like that where you just snip the two little tabs and take them apart, depending on which side you want to mount it on. Like that. So, to mount that, it's important that the actual grub screw that you have to undo with the Allen key provided is facing the actual wires. So, to undo this little grub screw, pull this piece up, then you can slide this piece in here. So this slides in here. This piece goes back on. Uh, make sure the grub screw faces the wire. It's important because there's a little hole here. So you can tighten this back up. Okay, so that locks that back in place. So if you look, go this way. You push this forward and it releases the actual freeze ball and you pull it back and it'll lock it back in place. Right. And to tie the hook, it's quite simple. Just feed it through here. And just loop it back on itself. Just a simple knot. Right to the end, you don't get massive. So you will get a bit of excess. So I'll just snip that off. So it's a lot neater. So you snip that off. It'll look like that. So here I prepared just a rig wider up to the third channel. Make sure the black wire with the grey stripe in it, that's your negative. So that goes to your black wire. Okay, that in. And you're ready to rock and roll. So it's literally a plug and play. Also the operating voltage for this actual winch is from six volts all the way up to 8.4 volts. So any ESC that, well, any receiver that you plug it into with a um, direct voltage from an ESC 
shouldn't make any issue, like shouldn't have any problems. It will work directly straight off the third channel. Uh, if you want to use the full potential of 8.4 volts, we'll have to install a BEC. All right, I hope this video was helpful enough for you to decide if it's something for you. Ah, also, it also has these little free rollers. So if your wire, if your cable does touch them, these, these silver rollers, they actually roll. So they're not actually fixed. Okay. And yeah, so I hope this video was helpful for you to decide if it's something for you or not. Uh, I will have some more operating videos uh, after this unboxing, so you can have a look uh, of it actually in, like, in action and pulling up some weights, such as a water bottle, just to show you what it's capable of. Right, thank you. Hope you enjoyed watching this.